now is the time to play Wii, but I don't know when, when, when chance will be. Well, whatever. We are back with more Twilight Princess. So, last part, we finished up, um, our collecting and stuff. So, this episode we are going to head to the mirror chamber and take on the second to last dungeon. And the fourth to last boss, I believe. Something like that. I just killed this guy. Hope he gives me a heart. Crap. Oh, yeah, the Ruby. Oh, let's go. Off to the mirror chamber. She's the most finished with this game. I'm gonna get back to after game time after I finish. So, we're gonna chance worm. Let's, and just watch this cutscene. I like this cutscene. I like every cutscene in the game. Except the one. <laughs> anyway, so that thing falls. That makes sense. We are a pyramid, and then stuff and then crap starts falling and breaking. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Some call a realm a world of shadows, but that makes it sound unpleasant. It's why there holds a ser serene beauty. You have seen it. Seen it yourself with the sunsets on this world. That is true. It actually does look awesome. Bathed in that light, all people are pure and gentle. But things change once it's on people thingy. I forgot. It was all our doing. We overestimate our abilities and safety and attempted to put an end to Gandor's evil magic. I hope you can find yourself to forgive our carelessness. Oh, Twilight Princess. Miss like, wait. You're the Twilight Princess, but you're an imp. <laughs> what so, he knew. I'm guessing it is it's a curse. It's not put a curse on Midna. They make it look like that. Just saying. Just saying. Midna, don't fail me now. Midna. 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 Hey, Midna. Hey, it's a few shadow. Midna, Midna, please. <laughs> In our world, we've long believed that the hero would be would appear as a divine beast. That's why when I found you, I thought I could use you. <laughs> Smirk, jeez, I swear. And I only care about returning our world to normal. No, I didn't care what happens in the world, like, not at all. But after witnessing the sulfur stuff, something crap. I, I know you. I now know, in the bottom of my heart, that I must save this world, too. There's no other way. If we can just defeat Zon, curse, I'm able to dissolve, and we'll be able to revive Zelda. Let's go set these for Zelda, for all this world. Yeah! Fist bump. Let's do this. I don't care. <laughs> Basically all the importance of the cutscene. Okay. Basically watch it. Fuck. Basically just chanting to the Twilight Realm. Nothing special. Here's the next dungeon. 
this is the Palace of Twilight. Um, since I can cast you on Selfish Trailer, regardless of what my reasons have been, I want to banish them. I left behind the Twilight. Those who have followed me, who considered me their ruler, even now as they remain here suffering, they believe that hope will come to this world. I'm sorry. So, I guess I think she asked us to help them. Yeah. These are these aren't their true forms of the Twilight of her people. If you splash them, you one kind of recoils off of them and nothing happens. It would have been funny if they added something like mid, like if you hit them, like Minnie gets pissed at you and says something. That would have been an awesome effect in my opinion. I am just saying, it would have been an awesome effect. Okay then. So we don't even need the Dominion Rod, why is it out? I have to put that there. And, yeah, I'm good for now. Wait, Horse Gull, not using that ever again. <laughs> Like, literally, I'm really not using it again. Crap! Spin! Spin attack, Link! Ow! Crap! Did I see that little Zont head over there? I think one of the- I think this is when the use of the shield attack comes in. Okay. Basically, wait for him to respawn. Do you want to shield bash it? Go over and hit him. Although you can just hit him normally, there's no real reason getting the shield attack, but... Oh my god. Kill! Kill! Anyway, now that we killed the thought head... It's actually great for you Close my tracker. Which is for some reason open. Here's our key. Basically, the key I can't get it to this dungeon is, um... Basically, there's just a bunch of simple ways to find keys. The puzzles aren't hard either. Oh crap. I can't even jump off that. <laughs> Would've been an awesome way to speed run. But no! But yeah, yeah. I, I like this dungeon. I like the mechanic of it. It's pretty cool. Okay, now this thing right here. This fog is eight. It's this fog, right? Well, actually, what happens with this fog is we cannot be a human in it. Be careful, this black fog is made of shadow crystals, they fly out white. So basically, Minna wants us to stay, stay safe. Oh, that's so sweet. Basically, we kill that. Yeah, this is the really simple part of the dungeon. Like, really simple. That's a, over there is a purple rupee, which I, I think is purple rupee at least. Tweel gets on our way out of here. Because we'll come back. Okay, we got the next key. Okay, now what? Also, I was watching um some strategies and stuff for um See in the sky. And I found out that you do not need to even get the turn the windmill thing. Which actually surprised the crap out of me. Although it looked like it was only GCN. But I couldn't be too sure. Basically, my strategy for this next little um, thing over here um, turn into a wolf. I don't really need to see this, but. Anyway. Here we have an image of Zaunt. Basically, we have to follow the way around and hit it. It's not that hard to be completely honest. You just have to keep up with him. the human now. Oh wow, just one jump attack, dude. 
Come on now, bro. Hey, stop. I guess I'm gonna try for jump strike. Where is he? Dang it, my eyes can't keep up. Oh, there you go. Oh crap. Basically, if he, if you let him cast that, he'll bring out a bunch of shadow things and stuff. Crap! I got the spin attack. One problem I have with Lee. No instant spins. I love instant spins. So awesome. Where is he? Okay, Wolf Link immediately. Please take two. Uh, don't even think about it for real. It just explodes like candy. It's so sweet. Anyway, there's that black cloud stuff again. Basically, I just want to go over here. Friends with the fog. That's, um, this is a soul. It's basically like, um, the sun of their world. Basically what you want to do is, um, stand as far away as possible. Clock up thing like that. And bring the soul over here. And then, well, the hand is alive. It's Frankenstein, I swear. I swear, it's, Frank it's Frankenstein as LZ. Anyway, it looks like a Looney Tune hand to me. Just saying. It's my opinion. Okay. Oh my god. Basically, you do not want it to grab the orb at all. Basically, just shoot it with the bow or with the claw shot. Double claw shot. To make it to get stunned like that so you can bring the soul. Other places. The dungeon is really interesting to me. Basically, this thing is super persistent. Because it will come to the walls and try and get you. So it is really persistent. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Stop it! I said stop it! Die! Like you. Okay. Yeah. In your face, bro. How does it feel, man? Huh? Let me bring this other. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Get over here, you soul. I will eat your soul. Oh my god, no. Oh god, no. No, you do not. You stupid shadow worm. Okay, die. I do not like you. <sighs> Jesus, where? Okay, here's our first piece of heart in the dungeon. In this room. Basically, just jump down. I really don't like the clothes. Like, it's not like I don't like it. It's that it's annoying. And it's horrible. It is a piece of art. It's the... It's a piece of art. I believe there's another chest on the other side. I'm just waiting for that thing. And I probably shouldn't. Get it over there. Pick it up. And run like crazy. I'm like crazy boy. Okay, Shadow Vermin. I cannot deal with you right now. Oh my god, no. No. And no. Cannot deal with you. This is crappy. Jesus. 